All right, roll one, scene one, take one. Arts problems. Traveling with art supplies. Thanks, Christina. <laughs> oh, we, we're not even writing things on there? the marker back in. <laughs> We've reached a new low at the studio. We're not even <laughs> writing on the slate. Yeah, we're doing some shit. <laughs> <laughs> So you would like to go traveling with art supplies, but you might be a little afraid. You might be a little scared because you've heard uh, maybe some horror stories. People had to throw away hundreds of dollars worth of paint right there at the security gate. You might have heard um, there are just certain things that you just cannot bring on a plane. Well, as of today, so look down at the date on the video, okay? That's the date that this is effective through. These tips, uh, and, and the research that I've done are as up-to-date as possible, but just know that if you're watching this video in 10 years and uh, things have changed, it, I, I will not be held responsible. You know, you have to do some, your own research or I'll have to do another video, one of those things. Why is traveling with art supplies a challenge? First of all, as you very may, well may know, um, there are restrictions on certain things like liquids. If you want to bring fluids on a plane, you can only bring uh, vessels, that's what I said, vessels, vessels, up to uh, three ounces, uh, and they have to fit in like a quart size bag. But when it comes to artist colors, there's actually more flexibility than you might think. In terms of bringing things on the plane, dried watercolor and cakes are never gonna be a problem. They're, they're solid. They don't count as a, as a liquid, even though they'll paint with water. However, tube watercolor does count. Now, fortunately, most tubes of watercolor are under 37 milliliters, which that's a lot of paint to be bringing with you on a trip, man. If you're bringing 37 milliliter tubes of watercolor, just, you know, they make little five ones. Some of you out there might want to bring your oil paints on a plane. And this is where it can get a little tricky. So I'm going to tell you some tricks and tips so that you can travel safely with your art supplies. Now, with those oil paints or acrylics, the same rule applies. Three ounces has to fit in a quart size bag. However, you never want to use the word paint when describing what you have in your bag. The term paint has a very strong negative connotation when it comes to uh, the TSA because paints um, can contain all kinds of flammable things in them uh, when you're dealing with some industrial paints or house paints or spray can paints. What you want to say is you have artist colors, vegetable-based artist colors. You gotta get the fear out of them so they understand that um, they are not something that is on a restricted list. The biggest thing, because you might also think, well, if I'm traveling and I can't bring any mediums with me, what do I do? Well, the easiest thing is to just get it when you get there, wherever you're headed, you know, if you need some, I don't know, fat or lean medium, whatever you need. But the biggest thing, regardless of whether you pack it or bring it on the plane, is the flash point of the item. They want to make sure that it won't spontaneously combust. Now, the um, FAA is currently saying that anything below 140 degrees can be flammable and it cannot be carried on or checked in bags. 140 degrees. So at 140 degrees, this can catch fire. They want it to be higher than that, okay? There are only two brush cleaners that I know of, and maybe you know of some more and you are welcome to share, that have flash points high enough that they are safe to bring on planes. First one is Gamsol has a flash point of 144. So technically those can go on a plane. But our good friends at Chelsea Classical Studio, look at this, flash point of 184 degrees. And they also have them in smaller jars um, I will say you want to keep your, they need to be able to identify what it is. So keep it in the original container. Don't dump this into a pallet cup. Um, try to keep it in the original container. Uh, same with your paints, uh, along those same lines. And this, you might think this is overkill, but I, I, it, art supplies are expensive and I don't want them to get a waste. It's so simple. Just, you want to just search the name of the product that you're bringing on the plane. So let's say it's Chelsea Classical Studio. Safety data sheet. And that's basically the old MD, M, MLSD, what is it? MDS, 
Okay. MSDS, yeah, there's no LSD in it. That way, if you get on the plane and they're like, well, what is this? This looks like it uh, is flammable. Um, you can say, well, here's the SDS sheet and you can, you know, like I did, highlight the flash point so that they know that it is safe to bring on the plane. I also highly recommend putting these in your luggage. So if you're packing your bags, you put your clothes down, you put your anything personal items, but you put your art supplies on top, okay? And with that, these, okay? Because otherwise they're gonna be rummaging through your whole bag, looking at these art supplies, because it can be intimidating and not everybody knows, it, that's a brush, you know, where is it a bomb? You know, it, 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 you don't know. Okay, that's good tips, right? Thank you for validating me. If you have a brand of paint that you use at home, uh, you know, you might uh, try to go, I, I call it the Costco method. Like, you know, let's say that you use Old Holland or Winsor Newton or Charbon. They'll have those big tubes because you're going to use a lot of paint. You're not going to use a lot of paint when you're traveling. I mean, I, I shouldn't say that, you know, I don't know how long you'll be gone for. In fact, I don't even know where we're going. So I hope that you let me know. What you might want to do is consider your palette of oils, acrylics, and just buy smaller tubes, 37 milliliter tubes. Those are well under three, ounce, uh, three ounces. Um, and, and then you'll have the paints that you're comfortable with and you'll be able to travel with them. But again, printing out those SDS safety data sheets uh, is important. You always should expect to be inspected. That is something that's going to happen, uh, especially your carry-ons and your baggage, they're all x-rayed and they'll see things in there that don't look like common everyday goods and it will raise a red flag and they will look at it. So you wanna be prepared, have a little kit that you prepare to travel with that has all these things. The other thing when it comes to traveling with art supplies is, you know, obviously, you know, even if you could bring it on the plane, who the hell wants to schlep around 18 gallons of Chelsea Classical Studios lavender brush cleaner? I don't, Jamie. So think about how you can condense. Now these, one other thing that I'm gonna to get to a little later is also think about how you're gonna get it back. You know, it's one thing to carry some big bulky canvases, it's another to carry a bunch of big bulky wet canvases. Uh, if you're oil painting, those things won't be dry. Again, I don't know where we're going yet, so most likely they won't be dry, but they could be if we're going to the desert and we'll be staying there for six months. So what should you be traveling with? Right, that's a good question. Thank you for asking it. When it comes to watercolor, easy, paper. You know, I like to carry blocks. I always love blocks. If you haven't watched any of my videos before, you know how I love blocks, because I am lazy. And blocks are sealed on the sides. All you have to do is paint on the block. They'll fit on posh shade boxes, on French easels. They'll fit uh, in your pocketbook. They, they come in all sizes. And just paint on it, wait for it to dry, and then just take a palette knife or, or, or some kind of butter knife and just trace around the sides of it. There's always one area where it's not sealed and it will come off nicely. If you take it off before it is dry, you've ruined the point of the block. The point of the block is to prevent buckling. So you wanna make sure it is dry, okay? Have I said that enough? I don't know, you know, like uh, we have this, um, brand new Soho Posh Shade box, and it is gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. As far as I know, this can be a carry-on on the plane, okay? It's, uh, it, it holds a lot of materials, but let me show you something also that it does that's really cool. It has a place that you can store panels. So these are our butterfly panels. I love these. They're um, very lightweight, double-sided, oil prime linen on one side, and uh, uh, dry media side on the other. You can use both. Um, there's even a way that you can carry uh, these wet if you have a, just only two of them. You can only fit two wet ones, but um, there are also ways that you can fit smaller sizes. You know, this size fits in there nicely, but they come with, um, what do they come with? These little pieces eh, that allow you to fit slightly smaller canvases in there, uh, panels in there. Um, there's also one other panel that I really like, the Pissarro. Um, these are similar to the butterfly panels in the fact that they uh, are oil primed, but these are a little different. So let me just, let me open this. I should have done that already. These are super lightweight, but sturdy. See how thick that is? So if you look at that versus, um, you know, well, just there you can see 
you know, this is thinner. It doesn't mean it's any less quality. This is oil prime linen, both of them. Um, but this is just on a, a thicker, I don't know, kind of gator board or something um, that, uh, you know, uh, is, is very rigid. So if you're worried about, um, I don't know, painting on a surface that might not be completely um, flat, like let's say that you were trying to paint on this, <coughs> and, uh, you know, you have a, a panel like this in here, um, you might be worried that if you are a heavy-handed painter, um, that it might bend or, 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 or bend, uh, dent or bend. The Pissarro ones are a lot more rigid in that res regard, okay? Yeah. Fumbling around with this box, Jamie. Acrylic painters, watercolor painters, you just need water. For the most part, you just need water when it comes to cleaning your brushes. And the solvents, there aren't really solvents necessarily for acrylic. The only thing you'd have to watch out for is if you were using a removable varnish that was for acrylics. Uh, any varnish is not going to be okay to travel with. You're not supposed to varnish until six months after the painting's been finished, at least to just make sure it's completely dry. Um, so y there shouldn't be a need to travel with varnish, but acrylic mediums, um, are for the most part pretty safe and again come in all different kinds of sizes and shapes that will fit into carry-ons whether you put it in your bag or you put it, bring it on the plane. Um, for that water though, I like these aqua totes. These are pretty cool. <clears throat> they fold flat and then they pop up and they stay up. That's, that's the tricky thing. Anybody can get it up but can they keep it up? That's, that's, the, that's the challenge. So you just take this with you, fill it with water. You can use this for your acrylics. You can use this for your oils. It'll all work just fine, right? You can use that. Here, you want a prize. I like this big black one. Look at that. When it comes to some of these things, if you are still very concerned about uh, whether or not you're going to have a hard time at the airport, and especially when I say plan ahead, you know, plan an extra 20, 30 minutes just in case that they want to look through everything. Uh, if you're very concerned, ship it ahead. Ship it ahead of time. Ship things ahead of time that you don't want to live without, that you want to make sure that you have, and don't have to worry about taking it through airport security. Just make sure that um, you tell the Postal Service or UPS or FedEx or, I don't know, is FedEx still in business? Whoever it is, um, whether or not there's flammable items inside it or not. That's um, important. And they probably have a different flashpoint. Uh, I'm not sure, though. I didn't do my research on shipping companies because I'm only half prepared apparently, but uh, on the plane we know 140 is the flash point they're looking for. So I highly recommend that you travel light. I highly recommend that you travel with small sizes. Um, you know, if you, if you want to bring full-size canvases, it's, it's possible. You can bring full-size canvases, but what are you doing they're wet? Well, there are a few options out there, but if you want something that's going to be not completely cumbersome. Let me show you these. These are the Handy Porters by uh, Gorilla Painter. And these, so this is a five by seven wet canvas carrier. It will carry panels or two canvases. It's made of cardboard, it's lightweight, and it will protect them um, with the uh, interior ridges. Uh, basically just the very, very edges of them touch the uh, paper. Nine by 12. Even 12 by 16, which is just getting a little ridiculous. I don't know, like you're gonna travel with this? I mean, like, I'm glad that they make it for those that want it, want it. but I don't know. This is probably the only one we've sold and it was just to ship it here to. But anyway, these boxes are designed uh, to carry your supplies when they're wet. If you have something like a French easel, you can use it as a wet canvas carrier, but that's not gonna do you any good when you gotta throw it in that overhead bin or check it, you know, because it doesn't protect it from the top. It's just basically allows you to put it in the back of your car, face up, and the painting's there. Doesn't work necessarily on a plane very easily. So yeah, French easels, posh shade boxes. Our posh shade box works as a wet panel carrier. If you wanna travel with two of these bad boys, if you wanna travel with two of these butterfly boards, let me tell you, you can do two full oil paintings, right? And in addition to that, you know, two full sketches, you know, pen and ink, all that good stuff um, on there. And, you know, and then if you, you can travel with more, uh, but two is what it will hold wet. That's, I think these will hold what, Katie, eight? Eight of these dry? 
Um, yeah, but but too wet. I like these. I think these are really nice. But who cares what I think? All of you. Palette knives, brushes, large quantities of paint uh, that are going to exceed the maximum limit. You want to pack all of these things. Do not try to bring a brush on a plane. Um, do not try to bring a palette knife on a plane. Just, you know, it has the word knife in it. So, you know, just sort of like, you know, you can't have cake for breakfast unless it's a pancake. Putting those in your bags is a good idea. And again, on top of everything so they don't go rummaging through it. Because even though they might be able to see, oh, that's a, you know, number T8 palette knife, that would be a really special TSA officer. Um, they might want to inspect it to just make sure that it is exactly what they think it is. Whether or not you pack them or you bring them on the plane, always put your paints in a plastic bag. Uh, they don't have to be in a plastic bag to um, be in the carry-on, but it's just to protect your other you know, items, not only your other art supplies, but your clothes, etc. Things leak, things get punctured accidentally, um, and anything that you can do to kind of help prevent something uh, like that happening. So the last thing you want to do is arrive in Italy and your stuff's covered in oil paint and you know people are going to think of Da Vinci because he's Italian. You know that, right? Most brushes have metal ferrules and I am very overly cautious when it comes to bringing anything metal on the plane so that it doesn't cause alarm because you know you could make a case that oh if they just cut the hair off and crimp it you got a shiv or something you know crazy however there are certain things out there like our aqua stroke brushes which are for watercolor and I guess you can use them for acrylic but they're really for watercolor um, that have no metal and uh, all you have to do is make sure that they're empty and you can bring them on a plane just fill them up with that water that you, you know that you're not supposed to drink the water in an airplane the uh, in the laboratory not drinkable water. Just remember that the next time you. It's not po po potable, port potable. Potable. Okay. If you just want smooth travel, pack as much as you can, but also be prepared. These uh, SDS sheets are extremely helpful, and following everything that the FAA uh, has as guidelines is extremely important. We even actually have other brushes that are like travel brushes that, you know, like basically the brush is in the handle and then you take it out and screw it in. Um, if there's any metal on them at all, I would highly recommend packing them. Um, most likely, uh, if you're traveling with art supplies, you're traveling with a lot of other stuff too and you'll have a carry-on, so put those in there. If you don't want to ship ahead, you don't want to travel with the art supplies, but you want to do art, I respect that. Um, just make sure that you go to a place where you can find a local Jerry's or Emma retail store. Yeah, we've got them all over. You know, Texas, Florida, New Jersey. I don't know why you go to New Jersey. Arizona, Colorado, Connecticut, Stars Hollow. That's not a real place. Oh, and everybody knows I watch Gilmore Girls. I'm watching Dawson's Creek now, as you know. So, like, you know, I've, I've got nothing to hide. I, I like those shows. Anything CW, I'm down for. But Gilmore Girls is not CW. Netflix. Was it CW? Disney really? Yeah. I apparently have a thing for CW shows. Did you watch Gossip Girl? No, not yet. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta get on that. <laughs> so, if you are traveling to a location where there is a local art supply store, in all seriousness, um, you know that that that's also a very convenient way of. Uh, being able to do art on location. I can't guarantee that they're going to have all the wonderful brands that you want, but they will have something that will allow you to get your creativity freak flag flying. I just want to recap some things that I said earlier in the video because it's been four hours. Um, I want to recap that you want to refer to them as artist colors, not as paints, um, that are vegetable oil based. That's, you know, linseed oil, poppy oil, you know, maybe, maybe one of those is legume based, I don't know. Also, flashpoint, 140 degrees or higher, and you want to carry those SDS sheets with you both in your carry-on and in your bag if you have art supplies in your bag, and keep them on top. Palette knives and brushes in your checked baggage, and of course, as I said before, put your paints in some sort of Ziploc bag or container, uh, even if you are packing them in your luggage just to protect the other things in there. Okay, that's just a recap and everything, all this good stuff that I shared with you all. Travel light, travel tight, uh, and travel smart and safe. Make sure that you follow the FAA regulations, 
okay? That's, that's really the most important thing. Second to following my instructions, and thirdly, I guess, to following me on Instagram, at Mike Not Jerry. Yeah, yeah, I worked on that one all weekend long. That's what I worked on. Yeah. Um, where uh, I'll continue to post things that are irrelevant to anything. It's just my, just my Instagram account, man. I post all kinds of stuff on there. I have a picture of my sister and I in front of her store in, in the city, in Manhattan. Pictures of just things that I'm doing, artwork I'm working on, all that good stuff. So, Mike not Jerry. Do it again, Will. Thank you. You do the little... Okay. And with that, scene. Guys, it's that time again. We're going to be taking our winter break. This is our winter finale. Thank you so much for watching Constant Artist Problem Viewer. We've got lots of exciting videos coming up for you next year. Um, not just artist problems either. We've got a few provits we've been working on. We've got a couple different videos out there that I think will educate, entertain, and hopefully uh, inspire you to do more art. So have a happy holiday, happy new year, and happy painting. Oh, I hate that. Perfect. Really? Yeah. What did I say? I don't remember anything. <laughs>